What's up, my comrades? This is the Supreme Leader of the KBG himself, Aaron, back with another episode of Witch in the Hundred Nights. So apparently, what I thought was the end is just the beginning of another chapter. Oh, this is getting interesting. What? Did Natalia just die? Act 1 is over. Or Act 1, Chapter 1. She has 99 days till death. Yes, I want to save. I, I worked hard on that just then. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and save that real quick. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm still using a PlayStation 3. I know, that's kind of odd. But, hey, it's... But I've always kind of loved the PlayStation 3 that I've had. It's been a fun system to play on. I've got a PlayStation 4 as well that I use for like gaming purposes, and I don't really bring it back here because we are back in my little studio area that I have, kind of like little private office, just because I spend a lot of time in my living room gaming. I'm, I'm a big-time gamer with my friends, so it's always fun. But, huh. Just remembered, I was in the middle. Excuse me, Sir Hundred Knight. Could Master Leah's bedroom. When Master Leah is waking up, she has a very terrible. Yep, gonna go wake up Leah, or Metalia. I'm gonna call her. I, I think Leah sounds like a better nickname. I, it's hard for me to say Metalia without trying to say Metallica. So. <laughs> Try napping here? Master Leah died last night, so how about it? Huh. Do I want to sleep in that bed? Your face looks like it's asking why. Ah, a magic being. Such a thing. Oh. <laughs> Her heart has stopped. Seems to have been some kind. I came here to tell her that breakfast this is quite a problem. Yeah, you killed her. You know you did it. That's it. You're my enemy now. You killed the one thing that gave me a reason to be on this earth. Or Oh, never mind, she's awake. Never mind. You didn't hear that soliloquy. <laughs> Wow, they're breaking the fourth wall a little bit there by saying an ending rather than a game over. That, that was, I like that. Though you were thoroughly dead, it is lovely to explain. The legends are plentiful, but only the great swamp witch, Master Leah. Metal. I was waiting for her to say because he's been calling her Leah like three or four times here, and I was waiting for the Metalia. Wait a minute, if she's immortal, why is she dying in a hundred days? That doesn't make sense. With my skills as a witch from you, expect nothing. But to have such unbelievable skills. Huh? Are you really this clueless? One's mortality and life expectancy. Oh, is that so? Duh. Understood. Kind of mortality and life expectancy. Be? Yeah, I, I guess that explains it then. Never mind. Pardon me for questioning, you know, the writers. <laughs> this is indeed a cons That's why I have to release the pillars in a hurry. Such a grand. All right, I'm not. Re I'm not gonna sit here and read all this. Oh yeah, enough bullshitting. Yeah, definitely. We need to ramp up 
our swamp and to do that, we must continue to bloom or release the pillars of temperance. Let's bloom a power. Up. Let's go open up that gate. Come here, Hundred Knight. Let me give you your next mission. All right, I wonder what my next mission's gonna be. Act one, chapter two: The Witch and the Inqui Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Oh, I stumbled on that last word there. Usually, I can say that pretty easy easily, but uh, all right. So, let's see here. Do I need to go in here and talk to Metalia again? See if there's any missions I need. If not, yep, I see that she's got an exclamation point there, so I guess I need to go talk to her there. Find out what's next. Head to Doan Hill first. If we spread the swamp meticulously, we'll be able to coat the entire world soon enough. How marvelous for you. She's gonna for enforce the entire world into her greatness. Wow. So... <laughs> I mean, she's expecting him to give a proper response. He really doesn't know how to answer, so... Alright. So let's see, is there... I think there's a store here that I can go sell stuff to. Yeah, let me go in here and sit. Let me go ahead and see if I can trade some stuff real quick. I've got some stuff I think I can trade out from multiple visits. So let's see what we got that we can sell off. Uh, let's see. That's going to attack power of six. There. Yeah, we'll keep that one, sell that one. Get rid of that one for the keep the evil one. Got a bunch of green charms here. Got a ton of weed gum. A ton of garbage. Yes, let's get rid of all that garbage there. Can I buy any... Nope, there's nothing really to buy. Alright, so let's see here. I want to look in his items real quick. Equipment. Let's see, how is that compared to the rubbish sword? Oh, that's a lot better than the rubbish sword. Let's see... I think that spear. I'm trying to see, that one's better. Let's get that one up. So, yeah, there we go. Now, let's see. What is this over here? Is there anything else here in this uh, area that I have not checked out yet? Where does this go? Maybe this will take me to another... To the outside world again. Make haste, little one. Master Lee. Okay, yep. That's where I needed to go. But what's up with this? I haven't been here in a while. Hey. If I may. Metalia. 
But 100 years and 135 days ago, you hit your head on the gate. And you this stupid gate should rot. Never maintain this gate. <laughs> you know, I like how he's making fun of how, how she talks, too. That might have always remember the most you whatever. Anyway, you need to open the gate. All right, so we're getting the gate open. This is going to be awesome. Let's go back. My tummy feels really Yeah. Bigs wedge, really? That's like a big Star Wars slash Final Fantasy nod right there. There's like so many references to different video games here. Like, I see Triforces on the ground, which kind of give a nod to Legends of Zelda. Oh, you know, Biggs and Wedge thing there. I find that stuff so interesting, though, that video games kind of nod to each other. This is a lot of... This story is really good. I'm loving this. I, this is kind of... I feel kind of bad because y'all haven't got to see much gameplay, but... It's more like a story than you get gameplay after a while. Thought, they think she's Malia. Okay, so we're about to find out more. Huh. It's a witch's curse, clearly. So, so it's true then. Her kingdom's she also said it's a very powerful curse. For the average witch, sure. Still, only doing part of your face and giving you a tail seems half-assed. If she couldn't fully curse you to become a beast, is it possible to undo the curse with your in which case, I'll need you to find me some incredible A chicory bug leaf, a flame frog egg, and some tragedy. Bring me these three if you do. I can synthesize. Thank you so much. And until I return, could you let those two They shouldn't have to keep forcing themselves so much. <laughs> do as you. Okay, so. I imagine that's going to be her quest, but not my quest. Anything we just talked about. Uh huh. His name's Toto Pepe. <laughs> oh, big 
Pig's Wedge and Toto Pepe. Now we actually get to play. So this episode might be a little bit longer than normal, but you know that's fine. I'm. Uh, there we go, Doe and Hill. We'll go there. Let's see. There's the witch. Old witch's forest. Seventy-eight percent explored. I'll have to come back and explore some of those later, I guess. So. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and start on here. Let's see if we can get get far, get if get a, at least a little bit further there. Maybe to the first checkpoint or so. Get some uh, experience up, do some leveling, you know that kind of stuff. That's what I like about this game. This game is very RPG, an RPG based game with like a lot of fun. Oh. You don't mind, and I don't mean rocks or grass. Try to find something a little more useful. Then again, I doubt you even know what good material or a nice treasure. Here, let me poke your eyes a bit so you can look better. Nice. Now I can find stuff. All right, we're learning how to dig. Nameless bone. I can explore a little bit now and find awesome items that I can collect and turn into. Wow, he's tough. Come on, eat it, eat it. Got nothing but garbage off of him. Uh, that that was not fun, but oh well. Hey, leave me alone. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh no, I died. Oh, wow, I'm going to need to level up a little bit before I take on these guys. They're pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> wow, they look <laughs> they look weird. But, yeah, I think we'll end it there. Uh, definitely going to... Well, no, it's going to bring me back to the forest. Okay, never mind. With full health and just a little bit of life left. A little, little bit of light left. There's got to be something around here. Uh, no, we don't want to return just yet. So... Yeah, that wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. What's over here? Oh, it's another one of those bugs! A puck yard. Wow. Yeah, it's going to take me a little while. I'm going to I'm gonna have to pr pretty much probably level up a little bit, so I'm going to do that behind the scenes. And in the next episode, I should be able to take on these guys. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of today's video or what you'd like to see us do next. Also, uh, click on that bell icon because that's going to keep you up to date with what we're doing, when we're doing it, how we're doing it, how many episodes this will take. I don't know. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, in the description, there's some links to Will's book, Keeper, T Keeper Chronicles, Tome of Knowledge. Ooh, excuse me. Make sure you uh, click on those links and go uh, like his Facebook page for that and uh, buy you a copy of the book. It's really awesome. It's a great read. Definitely definitely will need to go read that. Uh, that's, that's about all i got to tell you. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.